The objective of the program in its entirety is to give the students opportunity to have their voice in modern media and film is absolutely one of the most relevant ones. So working with Pink Sun who work in the industry and give the students an opportunity to work with proper equipment with an industry mentor to create a short film and to share their voice is the combination of all of the objectives of the course to facilitate that for them. In this filming segment, I'm aiming to give the Seton High School students the tools needed to creatively capture the media, needed to communicate the information or the story that they want to tell. We break down the use of cameras, lighting, audio recordings, and we discuss and analyse how we can use them to compose meaningful and intentional visuals and sound. We learnt many things, but one thing I enjoyed most was the lighting. The key light is the most important, it's the primary one, and it brings focus to the subject. And then to control it and balance out the shot, you have the filler light. I managed to get lots of very transferable and useful skills, um, mostly around organisation and learning how to reach out in order to get the support that I needed to achieve what I wanted in the time frame, um, as well as just the basic skills of how to use the cameras and lots of very artistic um, framing choices in relation to that. The first thing that I got out of the filming subject for this course was about different angles, um, different shots that can be achieved by using a gimbal. The second thing was about shot perspectives that I was able to learn through observations and screenshots. Engaging with this filming segment connects students with what is happening in the media production environment internationally. It provides them with accessible ways of connecting with that world. It also helps them understand the benefit that comes as a result of careful and thoughtful standard of planning. The filming process is going really well. I've been doing some practice and preparation for my actual filming, and I've been really focusing on the composition and the framing of my shots. Uh, the film process is actually going really well. It's been a little bit challenging at times, but in a really positive way. Just think of the little details of like set design and just the construction of how to build a scene and really create a performance or a short film in general really. Um, the examples that we saw in class were really helpful and there were lots of um, ways that we were supported which was excellent. In delivering this editing course I've been aiming to equip the students with the tools and the ability to navigate their way through editing software and in this case the Adobe Premiere software. But most importantly I've been wanting to give them an awareness and a walkthrough of how to go about approaching a really efficient workflow. And this is so important and handy because it can be applied to many different kinds of goal achievement, which is not limited or bound to the realm of video editing. The editing segment of this course has given us a look into industry practice and techniques which help us make our short films into something that look a little bit more professional. It's taught us how to do nice colour grading, how to cut things together and add on-screen graphics. Most importantly, it's helped us with workflow. Even though it's a small project, we start now and it will help us when we go into bigger projects. It's really tedious but it was a fun process nonetheless because I got to experience new things that I haven't before and it's something that will be really memorable for me in the future. The knowledge that I've gained from participating in this course is that there is so much more that goes behind the scenes. The fact that people who do this daily for like their whole lives, from personal experience, it is stressful, so we've got to give them way more credit. We've been going to Ocean View College once a week to use high-powered computers to help us render our projects. For me, I've been piecing mine together slowly week by week. I've uh, been using Lumetri and vector scopes to colour my work, essential graphic templates to appear on screen, uh, clip sequencing and sound sourcing. It had a lot of like analysis and um, organisation um, aspects to it, which I realised I could also use in a lot of my other subjects, especially in my daily life. The positive outcomes for students immediately is that they've made a short film that they've concocted from an idea into a script, into planning, into filming, into casting, now into editing and polishing and now presenting, which is incredible. But that personal satisfaction and skills that they've built in being able to manage this project and pull it off, I think is incredible.